God. Because God will in turn tell you what you what he wants you to study. And when God tells you what he wants you to study, you can start studying the word. And that is a way of also getting closer to God. I'm going to set a couple links here real quick. But by studying, you're also getting closer to God as well. So study to show yourself approved. A worker that does not a worker that does not need to be ashamed of the gospel, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, a first thing you need to do to get closer to God is what? Study, show yourself approved. Number two, after you study and show yourself approved, well, first thing you need to do is be silent and listen. Second thing you need to do after studying and showing yourself, after uh, listening and doing nothing but listening, being do not doers but listeners of the word. Second thing that needs to happen is you need to study and show yourself approved, and that's the second way of getting closer to God. So when you study and show yourself approved, you're getting closer to God in that aspect as well. So first thing first is to what? First things first is to just. Shut up and listen to God. Not to be mean, but be quiet and listen. Second thing is to study and show yourself approved. Hold on just for a minute. I got that bing going on. I got to uh, turn that off. My mother-in-law just text, texted me. I'm going to message her for just a second. But first thing to do is to be quiet. Study and show yourself. First be quiet and listen. Hold on. So first thing is first thing is to study is to be just be quiet, listen to God, study and show yourself approved. Is the second thing. The third thing, which we'll be going to Philippians 4, 6 through 7. So let's go to Philippians chapter 4. Here we go. Chapter 4. Okay, that's not Philippians. Let's go backwards a little bit. Second Corinthians, First Corinthians, Romans. Okay, Philippians is in the New Testament. I know that much. I don't know every single book where it's at, but we can get to Hebrews, James, Peter, First Peter, First John, Jude. Revelation is too far, so we gotta go this direction. Ephesians. Here we gotta go backwards again. Let's see where we're at. Galatians. Second Corinthians. Romans. Acts. We're going way too far back. Okay, let's do this. Let's go in the front of my book. In front of the Bible, they should have a context. Table of context, it's called. Okay, here's a table of context. And Philippians, it's 1529. So much easier now to find 
15, there's 14. Fifteen, there we go, and there we go, Philippians chapter four, six through seven. Chapter four of Philippians starting at verse six. Be anxious for nothing but in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I'll keep reading for a second. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart, hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. So first thing it says is, be anxious for nothing, but, and here's what I want to get at, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Let me say something here real quick about that right there. Here are my comments. As the word says with prayer and petition or supplication, let your request be made known to God. We need to talk to our Father and talk to God as you talk to your friends. As like the old song says, what a friend we have in Jesus. So get closer to God. We must what? One, be quiet. First off, let me say this again. We need to talk to our Father and talk to Him as you talk to your friends. And like the old song goes, what a friend we have in Jesus. Now let me ask you a question. When you talk to your friends, do you go, Thou Steve, how art thou, how are, how are thou, how art thou doing? How is thouest wife? How is thouest ministry? How is thou is this and thou is that and how art thou? Do you talk to your friends that way? Do you thou this and this and these and thys and no? You just say, hey, hey Steve, what's up? How's the wife? Hey Steve, how's the ministry? Hey this, how how's that? You don't talk to your friends. If you talk to your friends like, hey puppy G, what's up? Or if you if you do one of the old Budweiser commercials, what's up? <laughs> If you talk to your friends that way, then you better get on your knees and say, What's up to God? Because you know what? God wants you to talk to your talk to him. <coughs> Excuse me, like you talk to a friend. That really took me my breath away. Mr. What's up? <laughs> so talk to you talk to God like you talk to your friends. Don't sit there and Thou, 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 God, thou, God, thou art in heaven. How will, it, how will, how will it be thy name in thy kingdom come in thy, thy, thy? No, you say, hey God, how you doing? Let me talk with you, man. I need to have a conversation with you. Or if you really want to, and you, and you might have, you might think you have, but hey, God, I got a bone to pick with you. We need to talk now. Hey, you're talking to God like you talk to your friends. Don't talk to God any more different or any more special than you talk to your friends. If you thee and thou to your friends and thee and thou to God. But if you're not that, you know, old English, then talk to your God like you talk to your friends. The the word, the old school song goes, what a friend we have in Jesus. First thing it says is what a friend we have in Jesus. So, if God is our friend, then talk to him like one. Don't talk to him like he's, you know, yes, he's higher than you. Yes, he's more, he's a spiritual, your spiritual father. And yes, that's all true. But the main thing he wants to be is your friend, not some spiritual leader who's going to, you can't eat right now and you can eat later and you can't this, you can't that. You're not some slave to god you're a bond servant to god now bond servant is different than slave a slave does everything that the master says and the master barely gives him anything but see you're bond servant to god because a bond servant is this a bond servant is some somebody who does what god wants him to do or does what his master wants him to do but his master treats him well treats him right feeds him good 
houses them good and all that stuff. So you're a bond servant to Christ. Why? Because he treats you good. He feeds you every day. He loves on you. And then he's got a place later on for you that he's going to prepare for you. As it says in Mansions Melody, I go to prepare a place for you. Where I go, you cannot go. And it's a place where mansions can't be bought or sold because you can't buy them there, but God gives it to you. He says, in my father's house is a house of, with many rooms, many mansions. And if it were not so, he would have told me. So he goes, I go to prepare a place up there for you. So with that being said, talk to God like you talk to your friends. Don't talk to God like, you know, he's... Uh, don't talk to God in any other fashion that you don't talk to your friends. If you don't say thee and thou and thy to your friends, then just say, hey, look, this is what's going on, God. Let's talk. Pray that way. Don't go, thou God, thou art in heaven. I love thee. I pray to thee. I prayest to thee that thy will come into my, to thine heart. No, that's, that's old English. Look, Lord, I'm sorry. I've sinned. Please come into my heart. Talk to him like you talk to a friend. If you talk to a friend like I just did a second ago, hey, how you doing? Then talk to him that way. If you really talk to your friends, the these and thous and howest are thou steveth. If you talk to your friends that way, then that's fine. You can go ahead and talk to God that way too. But God wants you to talk. come to him like he's your best bud. He wants you to come to him like you're going to walk up to him. Hey, God, elbows, boom, shockwave. Everyone at work gets that idea, but if you want to give God the elbow, the spiritual elbow, or if you want to give God, you know, if you want to give God that high five, hey man, good job, smack, give him the high five, that's good. Do that to God. Talk to God like you talk to your friends. Don't talk to God like he, you know, like you do. Don't try to act like somebody you're not. That's what I'm trying to say. Act like you know who you are and the way you talk to your friends. With that being said, <clears throat> with that being said, so to get closer to God, we must what? Number one, be quiet, turning off all distractions. Two, read his words, study, show yourselves approved. And three, talk to God, not one of those thou God that art in heaven deals, not one of those, you know, trying to be someone you're not. Talk to God like you talk to a friend. Question is, do you talk to your father like thou Steve or hey Steve? So, talk to God as you talk to your friends and not like, don't be somebody you're not. Don't try to be somebody you're not. With that being said, that is our message for today. So, we gave you some ways here at TGIF to get closer to God. And that's just one way to get closer to God. So with that being said, let's get into a song for another song, shall we? And let's do... Let's do Hosanna by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy Hosanna. As Jesus came into the town, the people were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Just blood, he cleansed us from with. 